Welcome in to the Bears Den. I'm Kelly Ann Stitz, and as always, I'm joined by Ice Bears head coach Jeff Carr. Sitting at third in the league with 19 points, just five points shy of number one. The Ice Bears ended the split weekend 2-0, sweeping the Vermilion County Bobcats. Dino Balsamo became the second Ice Bear to score a hat trick this season. The Ice Bears offensive power on full display, beating the Bobcats 9-3 on Friday. Jason, just how excited are you to be able to play on home ice in the first round of the playoffs? Yeah, it's it's great. It's pivotal to have that home ice advantage. You returned both of your starting goalies, and you had to make a decision between Jimmy Parita and Christian Stead. You went with Jimmy Parita. What went behind that decision? I just thought that G with Jimmy not playing as many, you mentioned defenseman Sam Turner moving up with Anthony McVeigh on that second line to help create some new energy and scoring. Well, the two helped put up points on the board with less than two minutes into the game. So I'd say the move worked out pretty well for you. Yes, Sam had that great shot, you yes. know, on net. He didn't. The net tonight, Parita spent time playing up in the ECHL, but has a 927 save percentage in 17 games. He's played with Knoxville, meaning he saved about 93% of the shots he's faced in goal. Carr said Parita's big body Body and calming presence in the net will give the ice bears an edge over Rono. It's Valentine's Day in spirit of the holiday. What do you love most about your team right now? Oh, that's a great question. Honestly, I, I love this early in the year, and I know this this sounds crazy. Carr told me that you gave the team an inspired speech the other day. What was your message to the team ahead of the first game of the playoffs? Uh, just kind of like the sacrifice that we've all made to be here at this point. Um, you know, it doesn't stop. Ice Bears hosting the Havoc in front of a socially distanced sellout crowd at the Coliseum. Fans excited for some 4-on-4 four four hockey on Preds night. Now, the viral sensation right there, Josh French and Connor Fry is in the starting lineup. And Peter DeSalvo in the cage for the Ice Bears tonight, too. First period, Ice Bears win the faceoff. Alex Carlson with the wrist shot. Ice Bears up early by one. Later in the first, Ice Bears on the attack. Colton Heffley, one-timer rips it top shelf. Ice Bears up three to nothing. And the boys were buzzing tonight after the first, leading Huntsville four to nothing. The Ice Bears keep it rolling, beating the Havoc six to two. Tonight's win marks DeSalvo's 100th career win as a pro. He also mentioned that you're undercover funny and you had like 20 nicknames that the guys call you. <laughs> Can you share a couple of those nicknames? Yeah, I don't know. At this point, it's kind of gotten out of my hands, and uh, I'll hear a new name every day. Hey, Tim, the road to a ring starts tonight. The last time the Ice Bears won a President's Cup championship was in 2015. They're looking to win another one and add another banner to the Civic Coliseum, but first, they have to get through Roanoke. The Ice Bears will be without their captain, Stefan Bricado, and their second leading goal scorer, Rasmus Waxen Inbach. But Ice Bears head coach Jeff Carr said he's had to juggle lines all season long, and the guys have done a very good job of stepping up when needed. I'm joined by Ice Bears forward Jacob Benson. And Jacob, this is your second season with the Knoxville Ice Bears, but you had a very short stint in Europe at the beginning of season. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, it was uh, definitely a different experience going over there. Uh, it definitely would have been a lot more fun. Uh, without COVID, but uh, like I said, it was cool getting over there. Uh, the language barrier is a little tough, but uh, other than that, I, I enjoyed my experience while I was there. And like Colton Heffley, you're also a little bit of a fighter as well. Um, what's with that spark on the ice? Uh, you know, it, it's kind of heat of the moment. Uh, I wouldn't put myself in the weight class as him, but uh, if, if the time comes where I need to, I will. But. Uh, yeah, I got to take some tips from Colton so I don't lose my teeth. All right, Jake, now it's time to get in the box. Favorite professional hockey team? Minnesota Wild. Do you have a nickname, and if so, what is it? Uh, I've been getting called the Moose lately. I don't know why, but kind of like it. Favorite Britney Spears song? Uh, toxic. I don't really know Britney no, Spears. No, that's a really good one. Oh. That, that, that was one. OK, good. <laughs> Best friend on the team? Uh, roommate, Ken Helgeson. Celebrity crush in high school? Jessica Alba or Amber Heard? Okay, had a couple. That's yeah. Nice. Biggest lie you've ever told somebody? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I lied to my grandma about a hole in one, but I don't know if I wanted. I got the newspaper. I don't I think we should use that because I think I'd break her heart if I said that. She got me a trophy and everything. Yeah, was... Best person on the team to follow on social media and why? Uh, whew. Probably myself. I'm a good follow. Follow me. 
Jake, you went to St. Cloud, but you wrapped the orange and white. Between the two colleges, which one's your favorite? You know, I, my heart's definitely in St. Cloud a little bit, but I'm becoming a huge Vols fan. I, I love it here down in SEC country, so go Vols. You said you have some gear. Uh, what's your favorite Tennessee gear you like to rev? Uh, I got a couple 1998 championship hats that are pretty sweet, and I'm going to be wearing them for the March Madness. Jake, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Go Vols. Feels like 98.